Let's do another example now. So our example this time is we're looking at sodium and chlorine making up sodium chloride. So I'm using strawberries to represent sodium, and I'm using chlorine, again bananas, to represent chlorine. So let's fill up our shopping bags and see what we've got. So first thing, we've got one strawberry goes in this bag representing that sodium, and then in this bag here we've got two chlorines again. So we'll put those in. All right. Now on this side, we've got one sodium and one chlorine, so one strawberry and one banana. So we'll put those in. All right, there they go. So, here's what we have to start with. Let's count them up. So how many strawberries do we have on this side of the arrow? We've got one. How many bananas do we have on this side of the arrow? We've got two. So I'll put that second one in there. All right, so on this side we've got one strawberry and two bananas. What about the other side? On the other side we've only got one strawberry and one banana. So I'll represent that as well. So I'll put one strawberry over here. I'll replicate that one. Now I've got one banana over this side. Okay, is it balanced? I've got one strawberry on this side, one strawberry on this side. So that's okay. I've got two chlorines on this side and only one chlorine on this side. So two bananas on this side and one banana on that side. So what's the limiting factor here? I've got one banana on this side, two bananas on this side. So I need to have two bananas on this side. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to double my number of bags on this side. So now I've got two of these bags. Now let's count it up again. One strawberry on this side, that's okay. Two bananas on this side, so I'll replicate that one. Okay, so there we go. Now on the other side, let's count it up. So we've got one strawberry on this side, two strawberries on this side. So two strawberries on the right hand side. So I'll put those in. So we've got two strawberries on this side. And how many bananas do I have on this side? Two. So I'll put those in over here. All right. Now let's do a count up and see if we're balanced or not. So we've got one strawberry, two strawberries. So we're not. So our limiting factor now is our number of strawberries. So what we need to do is double our number of strawberries. Okay, so now we've got two strawberries on this side. We can do that. Make sure we've got it right. So two strawberries on this side, two strawberries on this side. Two strawberries on the left, two strawberries on the right. And I've got two bananas on the left, and two bananas on the right. So I can put those in as well. So the question is, are we balanced now? So if we have a look at what we've got, we've got two strawberries on this side, two strawberries on this side, two bananas on this side, two bananas on this side. So now we're balanced because we've got the same number of strawberries and bananas on both sides of the arrow. So on both the left hand and the right hand side of the arrow. Now we need to represent that in our equation up here. So what did we do? What we did was we doubled the number of sodiums. So we doubled the number of strawberries. So I'll write that in over here. So big two out front. We didn't change the number of chlorines over here. They stayed at the same. We didn't change that. But what we did do is we doubled the number of sodium chlorides over here. So again, I need to put a big two out the front. And now that's fine. So this is how we would represent the balancing properly.